um, I can remember on this trip, certain doors being open for me, like the uh, capability of being able to um, see with the, the eyes of, of the leopard and, and to um, have a kind of shared transmission that takes place from the tracks and uh, the doors that opened up um, to my dreams from this trip and, and also the direct experience of animal communication through the exercises that you and Alwyn took us through. And so just to give a sense of some of the things that happened for me personally, I can say that uh, in addition to what I just shared, there's so much that happens after the retreat. This is something that um, really works on, on, on me, I can say from my own experience, and that continues to work within me, um, especially within the dream time and my connection with nature. And so I wanted to mention those things as the, the, there's the, the retreat itself, and then there's everything that, uh, that comes after it as well. And so uh, John, this, this must be part of the intention of the design, I take it, in, in what you're doing here with the, the opening of these portals, that it's not just about uh, the time together in the desert, although that is profound and significant. There's also this, this ongoing developmental process that gets kicked off by um, putting ourselves there in the desert. Yes, I mean, this is a lifelong journey. I mean, my, my intention was for many years to go to Botswana. So this is a lifelong quest for me. And, um, and I'll say the same thing for other people. You know, once your connection to the natural world has been sparked, once you've been connected to the African bush and you start to have dreams, that's something that you always have. So that's, uh, that's my intention is that once people have experienced seven days or 10 days in Botswana, in the Kalahari, then that space is something that's going to be soul food for you. Soul food. So it's a space that you can tap into at any time of your life. So that's why this is a bucket list. You know, this is something that you might only do once in your life or you might get a, you might be privileged to, to do a few times. But the way we've created is that the hope is that it's going to be so profound that it's something that you're going to be able to tap into at, at any time to give you sustenance, to give you food. So to reconnect with the Garden of Eden, a living wilderness sanctuary that has been untapped and unsullied for thousands of years, breathe it in, manifest that experience in a real-time way, live it, breathe it, and then hopefully, please God, it's going to help shift and, and, and nourish you in the years to come.